Hey there, you filthy animals. Mr. Dirty back with another episode of the GTM Show. And you see we're outside today. We've taken a trip to Palm Beach, Florida, uh, poking around the uh, outskirts, West Palm Beach. And they've got a local place called Grilled Cheese Gallery. Uh, and they have a flagship item called the Mac Daddy. So we slid down there and we're going to be checking that out today. And besides that, we also picked up another freaky deaky grilled cheese sandwich from these guys. Uh, check back with us either tomorrow or the next day for that. But today, the Mac Daddy, as you can see, they've listed it right there so we know what this is. Let's crack this open and take a look at the Mac Daddy grilled cheese sandwich from the Grilled Cheese Gallery. Here we go. Boom shakalaka. There you go. Now what this has on it, they call it the Mac Daddy because, uh, yeah, our cheese on this is a mac and cheese. Yep, macaroni and cheese on this one. It looks toasted nicely. This comes on white bread and it looks like they've given us some sort of a dipping sauce. We'll get into that and see what that is in a second here. Let's uh, first take a look at one of the halves going on here. All right, there we go. There's a cross section. Nice of them to uh, cut this in half for us. Take all that in. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. Now if you're down there and you check this out, this is going to run you like a cool 10 bucks. But right now, looking at it, it looks well worth it. And it doesn't look like uh, blue box stuff either. It looks like they might have baked this mac and cheese. Here we go. Now my first impressions on this is bland. Extraordinarily flavorless. The only flavor I'm catching is uh, the butter from the toast, the bread, and that's it. I see uh, what appears to be a more different blend of cheese going on in the center there. Let me snap at that, there's like a white cheese as well as the orange cheese. It looks like there's also like um, maybe Mac American cheese on there as well. Not quite sure what that is. Here we go. I can tell on its own, it probably would have been a pretty good macaroni and cheese. Um, that white stuff that I tasted there tasted like uh, mayonnaise. That's a little weird. Is what it is though. Let's crack into this sauce that they gave us. It looks like Thousand Island dressing, to be honest with you. Let's dip the sandwich in that. Maybe that's how it's supposed to go. Maybe that's why they gave it to us. Yes, yeah, have a snap at that. All right, so that's more of the, um, what that mayonnaise tasting stuff is that's actually on the sandwich. Uh, it's like um, spicy mayonnaise, like a chipotle mayonnaise almost. Even going into um, like a Szechuan pepper kind of spiciness. But who knows, maybe that's like a sriracha type of deal going on there. Not sure. Uh, definitely makes the sandwich more flavorful because it starts off pretty bland. Um, yeah, nothing spectacular going on here. Still pretty good, but um, yeah, I probably wouldn't be a repeat offender of it. High three out of five for the Mac Daddy. All right, so it is what it is. That was the Mac Daddy from the Grilled Cheese Gallery down in uh, West Palm Beach, Florida. Check it out if you're in the area. I'm Mr. Dirty, that's the GTM Show. Don't forget, you can buy knucklehead shirts and hoodies down in the description. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at the real Mr. Dirty. And as always, get out of here, go have a rotten day.